Alright dude, so season 2 of Orphan Black just finished, and I'm still crying! Ah, oh, that ending! That ending. So to get me through this hiatus, I'm gonna list my top 5 favorite fictional female scientists. That's so science! So let's start off with a great fictional female scientist for a younger demographic. Princess Bubblegum of Adventure Time is an awesome scientist. My favorite thing about her stories is that it flips the princess fairy tale on its head. Rather than winning the guy's affection, she's really all about the science. She is really feminine. She is bright pink. And yet the show does not equate femininity with weakness. In the episode titled, Ricardio the Heart Guy, she literally kicks the shit out of some dude. That's awesome. She's literally backed into her corner, and while she's kicking ass, she throws in some scientific sass. I know a thing or two about building biomass, and you don't leave the heart exposed. Ring. Number four, Dr. Ellie Sattler from Jurassic Park. Ellie Sattler is an icon from my childhood. She subverts her typical Hollywood expectations. She shows up and you expect her to be the romantic interest of the main protagonist, but that completely gets flipped on its head when you find her literally elbow deep in dino dew. Sexy my ass. She's there to study some shit. Literally. She has some of my favorite lines of dialogue in any movie of all time. Dr. Ian Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum's character, says, God creates dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man destroys God. Man creates dinosaurs. Dr. Ellie Sattler, not wanting to be outsassed, says, Dinosaurs eat man. Woman inherits the earth. Oh, I love her. And in another scene where all the power's out and the old dude, what's his name? They're talking about going to flip the switch to get the electricity started. And the old dude is like, well, well, you know, it really should be me going because you're a, and I'm a, Dr. Ellie Sadler shuts him up real quick and says, let's discuss sexism in survival situations when I get back. And then she goes and saves everybody. Number three on my list is another Ellie, Dr. Ellie Arroway from Contact. Ellie Arroway is... How do I start on Ellie Arroway? I'll quote someone else from the movie. One of her co-workers describes her as brilliant, driven, pain in the ass, and obsessed with a field of study that is professional suicide. If that doesn't sound like a badass woman, I don't know what does. But my favorite thing about her character is that she's the protagonist of the film. She's not there to be anybody's love interest. And she's not there to be liked either. She really shows what it takes to be a woman in a male-dominated field. You have to be a bit of a pain in the ass and driven and brilliant to get anything done. Number two on my list has to be Kasima Niehaus from Orphan Black. Not only is she this brilliant, driven, Evo Devo PhD student at the University of Minnesota, she's also this very sensual and, and passionate person. A lot of her story involves falling in love with another woman, Delphine. And it's really important to show a kind of diversity in science. A lot of scientists are portrayed as stuffy, awkward, Sheldon types. And to see this kind of sexy and cool woman being a brilliant scientist, it's really refreshing. So for the love of all things science, if you have not started watching Orphan Black yet, pause this video. No, don't do that. Finish this video and then start. You will be binge watching for hours, I apologize. All right, drum roll please. Number one on my list is the one and only Dana Scully, the queen of sci-fi, eye rolls, and a good pantsuit. Dana Scully stole my heart in a way no other character has. She is this force with all the strength of science behind her. She always wants to get to the facts, to the evidence, to the things that can be proven, no matter what she's faced with. And that is such an admirable quality. All right, uh, this is getting really hot. I'm gonna change back now. The idea that a woman's main pursuit could be science and not romance was really novel at the time. Even though I ship Mulder and Scully hard, they are soulmates, no matter what the episode in the field where I died might suggest, they're soulmates. But the most important thing about Dana Scully is that there is clear evidence that this kind of representation matters. What is now known as the Dana Scully effect is the influx of women into STEM fields after that show aired. Gillian Anderson, the actress who portrayed Dana Scully, said in an interview, We get letters all the time, and I was told quite frequently by girls who were going into the medical world, the science world, or the FBI world, or other worlds where I reigned, 
that they were pursuing those pursuits because of the character of Scully. In one study of 382 films containing scientists in some fashion, only 22% of those scientists were women. That is a pathetic representation rate. So we really need more women like Dana, Cosima, Princess Bubblegum, that it's important to have this kind of diverse representation of STEM fields in our media. This way girls all over the world can watch these films and shows and say, you know what? I can do that. I can be that. While this list is quite limited, there are tons of other examples of amazing women scientists in our media. And I want to hear from you guys next. Who are some of your favorite fictional female scientists? Put examples in the comments below.